Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be going over predictions on what we could potentially see coming out of the special incense the new feature that is going to come alongside Necrozma's fusion with Lunala as well as Sigalia. We're going to get a new Pokemon that is actually going to use a new adventure effect kind of like Orja Palkia and Dialga with their special moves on the map where you get your uh, specific items paused or a bigger range. This is going to have something to do with incense during night or day. So we're going to go over a few Pokemon that we could maybe potentially see coming off of these incense that are going to be rare, much like the Galarian birds. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here and take a look at some fun images from the Pokemon group that they have found within the data. And we already know it is confirmed that we're going to be getting these fusions as well as for GoFest too. All right, so starting this off here, we do have the assets for fusion and it is just simply going to be a Sogalio as well as a Lunala, but in a different kind of uh, pose there. I think the Sogalia looks awesome. I know it's just a simple asset within the game or at least the image, but there is that there for you to see. And then we do have Necrozma shiny and as well as regular because it is going to be apparently introduced as shiny out the gate and we also do have the two fusions so those are the ones that are going to be able to do the uh, venture effects on the map so pretty exciting stuff and we will be getting into what we potentially will see here in just a second after we do look at these images here so as you can see yeah those assets are in the dang game and then we do have the two pieces that we're going to see uh, that are going to probably be um coinciding with the fusion so yeah, there you have those images in the game they were kind of hidden for a while but they did um reveal them recently that they did find within the data and then we have even more uh, images within the assets showing that uh, the fusion is going to be taking place here between necrozma lunala necrozma and sigalio and you should be able to get these shiny out the gate here so they're going to be working kind of like a uh, mega in a sense okay uh, I would think, right? We'll have to see. So we do have the Moongeist Beam as well as the Sunseal Strike. Those are going to be the moves, I would assume, that are going to be triggering these new kind of incense that we're going to be having here for the either night or day. So Moongeist Beam is going to be for the Lunala version uh, fusion, and then the Sunseal Strike is going to be for the Sigalio version of it. And with that said, let's go ahead and start this video off right now. So we're going to be taking a look at some of the future and past type Pokemon. If you're not familiar with this, this is going to be some of the newer generation Pokemon. And they kind of resemble Pokemon that we currently do have. Not kind of. They resemble Pokemon that we currently do have. Is either going to be the future form of them or the past form. So kind of like a primal form, like Annihilate, right? And well, the Nihilip is his own beast, but you can tell it's kind of like going for the primal kind of look. All right, but with that said though, there are many different ones of these and their names are ridiculous. Uh, iron Threads, Iron Bundles, Iron Hands, iron, <laughs> iron Moth, Iron Thorns. I mean, it's kind of silly. So taking a look at the first one that I think that we're gonna be potentially, maybe, this is just fun little guessing here. We do have the Walking Wake, which is gonna be resembling Suicune here. And it is gonna be a Water and Dragon type. Um, I'm going with these because we do have the Galarian birds coming off the daily incense and I'm just taking a guess here as to what we can get. Uh, we do have a Verizion version, a future form here. It's going to be grass and psychic, so it's going to be dropping its fighting type and picking up uh, psychic. And then we do have the Raikou uh, looking thing here, which is going to be a electric and dragon. Very interesting stuff here. Uh, you know, it looks kind of funny, but <laughs> whatever. Could you imagine seeing that come off of an incense? That's going to be something. And here it is. This is why I'm waiting for my Master Balls, because I do not know what we're going to be potentially getting, and I'm going to hold on to them, and you can stack those indeed, okay? And then we do have the future form of Terrakion here. It's going to be a rocking psychic type, and uh, looks pretty interesting, I suppose. It's not going to be weak to fighting at this point because of the psychic typing, but you already know in Pokemon Go, it's still going to be taking a good amount of damage in PvP when we do use this here. Uh, but as far as this design, they all look pretty good to me. Um, the Raikou one, it looks a little wacky. I'm not going to lie, okay? Uh, all right, so we do have Iron Crown as well. Pretty sure you know what this resembles here. It's going to be a Steel and Psychic. So it is going to be dropping its fighting type and picking up a Psychic typing and uh, making it not weak to fighting as well. And that should be pretty interesting and look awesome in the game. I can't wait for these to be shiny one day. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but... Hey, <laughs> once they release shiny Galarian birds, 
I think that's going to be the time you're also going to be wanting to use those uh, master balls for sure too, okay? Could you imagine? All right, now just taking a look at its moves here to see what it can learn just for fun. Confusion, Metal Claw, uh, Psy Strike. I'm going to go over the moves that we own, that we currently have in the game. Psycho Cut, damn, that could make it pretty good. A Steel Type with Psychic and getting stabbed. That seems pretty nasty. All right, kind of just speeding over that. Bulldoze, Metal Claw again. Psy Strike again. Brick Break, Zen Headbutt, Air Slash, Body Slam. Uh, flash Cannon, Iron Head, Psychic, which is uh, not great anymore, Heavy Slam, uh, what else we got, Giga Impact, Hyper Beam, Focus Blast, and yada yada yada, got a few other there's though. Alright, so final one is going to be the Entei, look at that, Fire and Dragon, Fire and Dragon type, that's going to be pretty awesome, as you're not going to be weak to Ice or uh, Fairy, what else, um, Water. So that's pretty awesome. I'm not naming them all, but those are the like main ones there. So pretty cool looking stuff. And also want to mention that you will probably be getting more than likely the, the sounds like there's a dog fight outside. Sorry, uh, that freaked me out. Sounded like somebody like howling and then uh, kind of threw me off there. So you're going to definitely be seeing Cosmog, probably, can't say definitely, but more than likely that is going to be something that you're going to get as it is kind of like Sigalio fusion, you know, so it's going to be like, and Lunala, so it'll make sense that Cosmog could potentially spawn off that and maybe even be shiny. So that's my, that might be the way on how you would get it as well. Uh, so it won't be guaranteed, but it could be a chance. I'm just saying, just throwing out some fun, uh, ideas out here folks so if you did enjoy this video if you can give a thumbs up that'd be much appreciated and I'll catch you all next time take care Hey, so you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic.